Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back nice and early upon your screens because your boy don't stop working. It's not even 7 a.m. Yeah? By the time this video goes up, it might even be like 8, 8 30. You're not gonna be thinking, what? What's this? Does this guy not rest? I need to blow. I mean, please share and support your boy for me because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to make it out here. But nah, anyway, anyway, you know what? I'm gonna get straight into this video because there's quite a lot I wanna cover. So, like, comment, subscribe for me. Please hit the bell to be notified and all of that, all of that. Please watch the video all the way to the end. It really helps with the algorithm. And again, liking the video really helps with the algorithm as well, please. So, if that, if you can do that, if you can just press that button for me, that would really mean a lot. So, anyway, as I was mentioning before, The Guardian, right, which is a respectable paper. Not no Daily Mail, not no The Sun, not no Daily Mirror, not no Daily Sport, not nothing with Daily in it, yeah? Not Tom Daily, none of that, all right? The Guardian, a respectable paper, they released a very extensive article, which I'm gonna leave in the description below, exposing Noel Clark's antics from all the way throughout his career, as early as 2004. In this article, it says up was a 20 women have come forward. Not only have 20 women come forward, there's literal evidence and a paper trail of these women telling witnesses telling friends or family at the time of it happening who also can testify what he's been accused of is alarming as much as this one breaks my heart yeah this one breaks my heart he is a national hero national tre a treasure somewhat someone who really made it out of the slums to give black people something to strive for someone to aspire to be like despite all that i'm not even surprised you can't, not, and it's not because of his character. It's not him. I'm just not surprised. You can't surprise me no more. You can't, you can't break me no more. You can't shock me no more. I have little faith in humanity as it is. I'm disappointed. And obviously there's going to be an element of shock there as well because who would have seen this coming from someone who just won a BAFTA? He literally won a BAFTA and he was given a real speech, a real powerful speech. And look what's come to light. Let me go through a list of accusations um, from individual girls. So the article pretty much goes through each individual female, okay, and, and their experience. Now it's very key to note, this is not in a space of six months a year. This is in the space of his entire career, okay? So one woman recalls having a naked audition in which he actually admitted to fellow colleagues he recorded and he's recorded other naked auditions since. Right? There's two things wrong with this. Firstly, the audition ain't meant to be naked. Secondly, it is grossly illegal to film it. Right? And the reason why he would get certain women to do naked auditions is to see if they would bottle it come filming time, whether they bottled the nude scene, etc. That a woman recalls her experience, and there's witnesses to testify that he has openly said that he has access to these films, he has access to illegal uh, naked auditions, right? This is a man who abuses his power in the industry as a producer and director and someone who can give people opportunities and take them away, do you understand? Another woman now, she records him sending dick pics minutes after they met. So they met and he said, oh, you think about, oh, you look, you looked great today, you know? Oh, by the way, I sent you, I sent you something on Snapchat, a dick pic. She showed the Guardian the dick pic. So proof. Unfortunately, there's a lot of proof against Noel. So, yeah. This is one of them ones, unfortunately. Another woman recalls himself exposing himself in the car. Or was it a party, sorry? One, I think it was a party or a car, one of them. He exposed himself, got his, got his junk up, got his ting up. Another woman recalls how she got abused, assaulted. Well, I'm really trying to get this one monetized, by the way. So there might, be, there might be a lot of bleeps. There might be a lot of bleeps and blanks out, blanked out words. Um, so yeah, so another woman got sexed by him in a storage room in 2018. She actually told her boyfriend at the time and they spoke to the boyfriend and he recalls the conversation they had in 2018 of her getting. Another woman recalls her experience with Noel in 2004 in the filming of Kid Hood, I believe it was, where he would openly touch her waist and kiss her. He actually kissed her on the lips apparently and all this mad stuff. But she was saying how when she recalls, she, she's devastated at how sickening his behavior was at the time, how he would grab her waist and kiss her and this, this and this, and all, all, this, all, this mad, all these mad things, and she was just disgusted by it. And in front of people, by the way, there's, there's multiple witnesses backing this. In 2007, when the actress Mel 
I think didn't want to have a sex scene with him. When one of the actresses said she refused to do a sex scene with him in 2007 for uh, adulthood, because he obviously produced it, written it, and said, yeah, you've got to do a new sex scene with me, rah, rah. She refused, and he said, apparently, you'll never work again. You'll literally never work, on, on, for, you'll never work in the industry again. You're done, you're done at it, all this stuff. Multiple, multiple statements from these people calling him a sex addict. There's quotes of himself meeting someone and calling himself and introducing himself as a sex addict. Now this isn't just actors and things like that. The costume, the costume lady, this is, this is off camera cast people. The costume lady got assaulted by him. He would make her watch him change. And, it, and, it would, and he wouldn't change in um, the changing rooms and that alone, what he should do, he would, he would make her bring the costume to his hotel room and say, no, you have to stay while I change. And she would, and she would think it's weird, but she wouldn't say anything. Then all throughout filming, he'd be like, oh, he'd look at her and say, oh, you got a nice ass. Also, and he would say, oh, he would whisper things like, oh, I could make your career, I could make your career. She told her mum. Guardian spoke to the mum. The mum's got statements. Another witness, testimony, to, say, to, to back what the daughter said. Now, this is an interesting one. I can't remember what the lady this was, but he said to one lady, oh, you've got a nice ass," and kept saying, oh, give me a hug then when you see me, like proper kind of like, just kind of like asserting himself. You know how people in power, they do that. They kind of like, it kind of comes across as jokey and friendly and touchy feely, but it comes across as friendly, but you, but you feel weird. If it feels weird, it's weird. And he's saying things like, oh, come give me a hug then. And this lady actually complained to him and her superiors and he stopped doing it. He knows he's doing stuff wrong here type thing. She actually complained, complained. So she obviously felt bad enough that she had to go to the higher ups to complain. What does that tell you? There's numerous examples of him wanting his colleagues to be nude, nude scenes always, and, and them feeling a type of way about it, but him pressuring them to do it, him calling them up personal, personal phones saying like, oh, I know the scene isn't meant to be nude, but can you do it nude last minute? Can you do it? Can you like, can you change? Can you make sure you do it? And she's feeling the pressure and she's saying, no, I don't want to do it. And he's like, no, no, just, just do it. Just make sure you do the nude scene. It backs what these, all these victims are saying. He's hiding in plain sight. How is no one seeing this, basically? Not only is there numerous examples of sexual assault, there's numerous examples of bullying. Now he was, he, he got picked, he used to travel to work with one colleague and she picked him up 10 minutes late. He got in the back seat and screamed at her, her absolutely screamed at her, yelled at her, belittled her. And she recalls, she's never been screamed at like that before. She recalls that. Now I want you to pay attention to this. This section is very, very important because again, look at the trends. There is multiple women who accuse him over the years of bullying, but not only that, their mental health has completely shattered right? Completely shattered. There is a woman here called Megan. He bullied her on set, screaming at her, saying, why are you here? She was, she was performing quite a difficult task, or she was directing quite a difficult task. And he screamed at her. He said, what are you even good for? What are you here for? Rah, 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 rah. Right? This woman, she had a panic attack. When she realised, yeah, that she had to spend two hours in a room with Noel, the, she recalls the room got smaller. She went blue, she had a panic attack. They called the ambulance. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is in front of multiple witnesses. She completely had a panic attack and in the ambulance she said, like, I couldn't work there, I couldn't be there around him. That is a scary sign. If you can, if you can make someone feel that way, that is scary. Now, some of, you, some, of you, some of you who don't like to believe victims are probably thinking, oh, someone, she's exaggerating. You think, you think she's exaggerating? Oh, there's further proof. A woman called Powell said she had to have therapy for the trauma of working with him. She had therapy. It's a different woman, by the way. Different woman, different experience. She had therapy because she couldn't work with Noel. What, I hear some of you saying she paid off. Oh, cool. Oh, you want more proof? Say no more. A person called Crab in Brotherhood said it was his first experience working in Brotherhood. After working with Noel, he quit the industry for three years. He only properly came back to the industry a few years ago. His experience with Noel on Brotherhood made him quit acting. That is three people. Do you understand? Now, it's funny, you know, Carl. Who remembers Adam Deacon? Adam Deacon, I, I remember this like the clearest day, and everyone was like, what are you talking about? Adam Deacon was villainized and demonized by the court of public opinion and the media for his deteriorated mental health. He came out in 2017, was it 2017 or 16? He came out a few years ago and said that his mental health completely broke because of Noel Clark, He was a bully and a manipulator and he, and he broke him. He completely broke him. Now, me personally, no human can break me. Working with Noel would never break me, I'd laugh at him. But multiple people coming out 
and saying how they were belittled and completely devastated, devastatingly broken by no. What? This is this is numerous numerous evidence. Listen, where do I stand on all of this? I stand with the victims. Just because I love or loved No Clark, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. You're not gonna let bias get in the way of this. The proof is there. This this Guardian report was brave and extensive, but not even half the bravery of the victims. In society, I see it every day on social media. Social media is so toxic. I see it every day. It is always the victim's fault, especially to men. Men, so many men are pathetically ignorant, who've got toxic masculinity, beta males, too much ego. Yeah, too much ego, not, too much pride. We need to support the victims. Yes, yes, there is 0.1% chance that they may lie. Yes but there is a 99.9% .9 chance that they're telling the truth. That statistically speaking, men, not most people don't lie. It is time we believe the victims. But let's look, at the, let's look at the trends here. Use your logic, right? I'm a man who looks at the patterns, who looks at the trends. One important factor is the consistency. The sex addict was consistent throughout his career. All the women said that. The bullying, all throughout. In fact, I didn't even say it, I didn't make it in my notes. He admitted, he actually admitted one count, sorry. He said, he denied all counts from all victims, but he, he admitted a couple. I think he admitted that, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, there was a time where I commented on a few women's breasts and stuff and like, I'm extremely sorry for if I made you feel a type of way, I didn't mean to make you feel that way. What does that tell you? If he's admitted a little bit of it, let's be real here. He's probably guilty of the rest. If he's capable of commenting publicly on a girl's breasts and ass, which is, which is, Assault, by the way, it's obviously a lower form, but that is, it's not physical, but it is there, it's, it's, it's assault, or whatever. You're capable of the rest. Now, as I said, going back to the trends and the patterns, it's consistency. This isn't just 2019, 2018. This is, two, this is from 2004. Not only is it the actresses, some of the, some of the, some of the big actresses on his set, it's the costume ladies. There is a trend of bullying all throughout his career, a trend of sexual similar, a trend of how it's, detrimental to their mental health. It, not only is there no smoke without fire, this, the whole place is burning, cuz. The whole place is alight. Forget smoke, he is about to crumble under the pressure of this fire. Now, as I said, I stand with the victims based on all the people saying you are, based on the fact that you've actually admitted some of the accounts. Yeah? Based on the fact that these people can recall the exact moment it happened. And their families can recall the exact moment they told them. The same way I can recall the exact moment someone said a microaggression to me at school. It, 10 years ago, I can remember a conversation that a white person said to me 10 years ago. That conversation that white person would have had with me, they would have forgot they said that five seconds after they said it. Because of microaggression is nothing to them, but to me it is deep. It cuts deep. Do you understand? So if I can if I can recall all these deep, painful moments that were so small in the grand scheme of things, but massive to me, psychologically, I believe they can recall. They're recalling the same things. They're recalling. They can, they're recalling specifically specific moments. There's some bits of the article where Noel Clark says, via his lawyers. He can't remember this happening, but he denies it. Something like that. There's a few examples where, where it says, this can't be, re this event can't really be recalled, but he denies. What does that tell you? That, that supports the theory that I just said a minute ago, that it was nothing to him, or he's done it so much that he can't even remember it, but it was deep to them. As I said, I can remember a five second conversation that, that certain white people won't remember five seconds after they said it but I remember it 10 years after they said it. And again, it, it's the same thing. He can't even remember, but he denies it obviously. But they, these are, can remember. So with all these little things adding up, I support the victims. To me, no Clark, you're done. It's that simple. I liked Dutch Avelli. I don't listen to Dutch Avelli at all now. Now, if you listen to Dutch, that's great. You know, I'm not judging no one for listening to whoever they want. However, I have a firm opinion on what Dutch did. So therefore, I'm not going to listen to Man Man no more, despite me being a fan. 
I was a fan of No Clark. You will not see me support my man no more. I'm not gonna try and convince you lot that he is 100% guilty and this, this and this. Everyone deserves a fair trial and to come out and defend themselves. However, I know what I know and I believe what I believe. Do you understand? When all the evidence is stacked up against, why would we not believe? Like literally, when there's all the evidence against something, why would we not believe? So listen, it's, it's the crack of dawn. I'm gonna, get this, I'm gonna get this video out and then I've got a gym and all sorts of busy day today. So I hope you lot enjoy your Friday. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts below. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be fucking disappointed. Um, oh, by the way, BAFTA, just to end on this, BAFTA actually stripped the BAFTA from him. In fact, I'll do a different video on that because I might as well I might as well stretch this out to get more content to be fair if I'm keeping it trilly. So I'll do another video on that. Keep it short and sweet. Yeah, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Peace.